Thank you for joining me on the Perry Stone YouTube channel. And be sure and subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the messages that we're bringing. For the next few moments, I want to concentrate on the thought about are we running out of time? And I believe the answer is yes. And let me explain what I mean by running out of time. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans that unless the Lord would have left us a remnant on the earth, that we would have been as the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Genesis chapter 19 tells the story of these cities. There were actually five cities of the plain. They are Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and a small town on a mountain by the name of Zoar. At the time of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and also Adma and Zeboim, uh, Lot was able to flee to the mountains to a very small town where he lived and survived. However, four of the five cities were destroyed, and it's believed it was a massive volcanic eruption that may have happened in the southern part of the Dead Sea. There was a short time frame that Lot had to escape. In fact, he was warned by the angels to, uh, and these are angels in the form of men, to leave the city as soon as possible. And finally, the angels had to grab him by the hand and drag him out of the city as the sun was coming up right before the uh, disruption or explosion, or the, as the Bible des describes it, fire from heaven came against the city. So he had a very short time to actually reach his sons-in-law and daughters who actually remained in the city and mocked him when he warned them that judgment was coming. Noah, on the other hand, had a period of about 100 years to build the ark, 500 years of age when Shem, Ham, and Japheth were born, 600 years of age when the flood came, which is approximately 100 years. Now, one person is given a 100-year time frame to prepare. The other has only actually a matter of probably 28 to four, 24 to 48 hours uh, to prepare for what's about to happen. I believe that when God said a short work He is going to do on the earth, that things are going to accelerate to a level that we have never, ever seen before. Now, the voice of evangelism is the ministry that the Holy Spirit has given me the uh, stewardship over from the time I was 18 years of age. And we literally are seeing an acceleration in both the planning, the projects, the, the manner in which the uh, blessings of the Lord are flowing, but also in what He's telling us to do and get it done swiftly. In other words, to accelerate or to speed up what we're doing because the need of reaching people and helping people and helping, for example, drug addicts and those that are incarcerated or whatever the case may be, feeding the people up in the Appalachian uh, mountain chain, etc. Uh, these projects are so needed and so important because people need help. And if we are not the light and not the salt of the earth, then we're going to lose a generation to uh, the secular ideas and theology, not theology, but the secular ideas and teaching and some of the perverted ideas that the secularists have. It's, and it's going to cost us down the road. I do want to say this to you, that when you begin to see, according to Matthew uh, 24, Luke 19, Luke 21, when you begin to see, Mark 13, I should say, when you begin to see wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, you know, they talk about this Delta virus that's out there now in parts of the world, and it's the kind of the second COVID that's coming in. It just seems like we're going from one thing to the next. There's, I think the other day I was reading there's five active volcanoes, meaning they're actually erupting in different parts of the earth right now. Some of them are very minor. There's not been a major eruption. In China, the rain has come to the point that there's massive floodings. There's over uh, 400 dams that are in danger of cracking or breaking if this continues. Yet in the United States, there's this serious drought like we haven't had in 1,200 years. Okay, listen to me carefully. When the Bible uh, gives us the signs of the time, it says when all these things begin to come to pass, begin to come to pass, Look up, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. And so this is why I say we're running out of time. Whatever we do, we have to do quickly. Whatever we do, we have to do with excellence. Whatever we do, we have to accelerate it. Because it is very clear that the birth pains are moving. We've come from first, first trimester, second trimester. Now we're in the third trimester, which is the most serious birth pains that Jesus told us about in Matthew 24 and verse 8 that would be occurring on the earth prior to to his return. Now, I know we've heard that the Lord is coming our entire life, especially if you're a believer. And we know we've heard that uh, the signs of the time are being fulfilled. But I have been in ministry well over 46 years. I've studied over 170,000 hours of Bible study, uh, reading books, reading the Bible, Hebrew study, word studies, and Greek word studies. And I can tell you of assuredly, I have never 
in my lifetime seen anything like this where the combination of events are coming together in the manner in which they are. So here's what the scripture says, redeem the time. Now the word redeem can mean, can mean to purchase or to buy it back. I believe what he's saying there is this, don't miss an opportunity. Don't miss a moment. When the Lord opens the door, go through it. Believe that he's going to help you to be able to do what you need to do because time is going to eventually be no more. As a matter of fact, in the book of Revelation, where it talks about things beginning to happen, when John saw the events begin to happen, he talked about how quickly it would take place, how quickly they would come to pass. So we're about to move from the steady line movement into the quickly accelerate time movement. So I want to encourage all of you who are out there to, to do what you can for the kingdom of God, to invest in the work of the Lord, and to be faithful in the place where God called you. Now, I want you, I want you to remember this. I did a video on uh, something the Lord told me. It was something He told me, a warning for Christians. And I want you to watch that one if you haven't seen it yet, please. And one of the things that I failed to mention at the end of that was, the scripture says that if any man's works abide, that means if they continue all the way to the end and he is faithful, then that man or woman, or if it's a young person, whatever the case may be, shall receive a reward. That means an eternal heavenly reward. Five different crowns a person can receive, but you have to be an overcomer and you have to be faithful. So I ask you as a servant of the Lord to be faithful in all that you do, to be steadfast, faithful, and Paul said, be unmovable. Don't bail out, don't quit, don't give up. It is no time to do that, no matter how discouraged you are. Well, I saw some hypocrites. Well, so did Jesus. He had a Judas that betrayed him, Peter that denied him, and Thomas that didn't even believe he was raised from the dead. That's three of the 12 that's totally messed up before you get started. And then only John stood with him when he was being crucified. It's funny when you're feeding 5,000 and everything's yee-haw, uh, all your 12 disciples will show up. But when you're being crucified on the cross and being uh, uh, lied on like Jesus was, they all left him except the one who really loved him, whose name was John. So be someone whose love is real, not just words, but it is real in deeds and actions as well. Well, that's my word for today that we are on a time limit and all of us, and a time limit can be not just when the, the Lord's returning soon. Time limit can also be your age, that you only have a certain amount of time uh, to do what you're going to do and do it effectively. So we encourage you to do that. I want to mention to you that every Tuesday night uh, right here at the Omega Center International, Ramp Cleveland has a special uh, uh, service, a great service every Tuesday. It's wonderful. Uh, music, praise and worship. It is not just for young people. It's for those of all ages. We'd love to have you come and join us on a Tuesday night and also our Thursday night prayer from six to seven. That is global world prayer. We're going to be praying with people every Thursday so you can be a part of that. Thank you for your time. I certainly appreciate those of you who keep up with us in this manner. Be watching for our brand new book, The Apocalyptic Reset, that's coming out. Please give me your undivided attention. Many months ago, I began to hear secular economists announce a new global reset was coming. That's when I heard this phrase in my spirit, the American Apocalyptic Reset. For several weeks, I woke up early and began receiving a series of stunning prophetic downloads that I penned and now have placed them all in my brand new prophetic book, America's Apocalyptic Reset. This book is a must read for all Christians, for all of those who love Bible prophecy, for conservative Americans and American patriots. The 19 chapters go extremely deep into exposing the agenda now being secretly plotted and to be publicly forced upon us, the American people, and how we can counter it. I discovered some very stunning ancient prophetic parallels and patterns, some that go back 4,000 years that are repeating themselves in the United States right now. I deal with America's great Babel reset and the planned persecution of Christians, America's self-curse that will eventually bring judgment upon the nation, the coming Jezebel clash, the woman who will be president, how she should react and wisely resist corrupt governments. I reveal the unique Silicon Valley parallels and also go into the plans to bankrupt, then reset America economically. Also, I talk about how to function when the church must go underground. I received a very unique revelation concerning President Trump and a pattern that's found in history 
There's a chapter also that I deal with how did the prophets get it wrong and so much more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the most significant prophetic book in the history of my ministry, especially in the time that we're in, but that's not all. I'm also including my most recent inside information prophetic briefing on two audio CDs. It's two hours in length, and I will release detailed information that I cannot, and I want you to hear me, I cannot, nor will I, share this on social media or on television, as absolutely in the climate that we're now in, a lot of this information would be targeted for being blocked and banned if it was made public and not done in this private setting that we're doing it in. These two hours contain biblical, political, national, and international revelation and information that I am sure that many of you have not been aware of. It is for truth lovers only. I want you to order right now this prophetic resource package, my brand new book, The Apocalyptic Reset, and the two-hour prophetic CDs by going online at perrystone.org or calling 1-888-21-BREAD or write me at Perry Stone P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Now, we're making this available for your donation of $35 or more, and you can request the offer APR-140. That's APR-140. I'm going to unmask the radical globalists and individuals who have set out to oppose and silence Christians, silence patriots, and shut the mouth of conservatives. And we will show you in the book what we can do when we unite together. We are looking forward to getting this into your hands.